Hi everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge. And for this video, I'm going to do a couple things. First, um, I just got back from my uncle's wedding in my hometown and so there was a bunch of packages that arrived. Um, one of those is my reveal... One of them is my reveal book box for September. I had got it in August and then I ended up um, pausing it because I didn't know, you know, how much I would like the books that I got in it. And then I was seeing a bunch of my friends finally get into it again. And I was like, you know what? Dang it. I want to order it again. And there's such a quick turnaround for reveal book box. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't, you know, I do have a code down below, which is a code any of you can get where if you refer your friends, you can end up getting a free month. So if you're interested in this, definitely check it out. This is a book box that is focused on romance, particularly indie romance or less well known. They have a set of authors that they work with. Um, I'd been seeing them advertised a ton before I'd seen any of my friends get them. Um, but the thing that really sells it for me is that when you sign up, you fill out a survey and you pick the tropes that you like. You can opt to, you can opt to pick any books that you want, but then you can choose to get either one, two, four, or six books per month. Um, and you can also get goodies with it if you want to. They're usually really small goodies, you know, so don't get your like heart set up too high. I've seen koozies before, um, bracelets. They usually have like a little treat in there. So nothing big, but all the books are signed. They either have a book plate or they're signed. And it is, like I said, usually indie authors in them. And so I wanted to get it again. Um, just because it was really fun the first time and I love supporting indie authors and since I am mainly a romance channel, I thought this would be fun. So we're gonna open that, but first um, we are going to open the other packages that I got. So I have some books that I ordered off of eBay and I have one that I ordered from Amazon Prime that I just wanted to share real quick since um, I'm not gonna have uh, like as big of a haul this month. Ooh, did I just stab my book? Um, so I thought I'd just put those in here so you can see what I found. Um, I've also told a few of you this that I've started like selling on eBay recently. Um, and one of the days I ended up browsing for myself and I'm trying to collect some certain books in hardcover as well as to find older copies of certain books. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, and it ended up that they came from like Better World Books because Better World Books sells some of theirs on eBay. So number one, already annoyed <laughs> because I didn't, this was not told that these were, some of these were library books. So I'm already a bit irritated. Um, I'm trying to complete my Ravenel series in hardcover because I have four out of the six books and I did not know that this was a library copy. They did not indicate that it was. So yeah, I'm kind of mad. Wow, that made me kind of mad. As well as I wanted to collect the hardcovers of the Hathaways. And this is a very well used large print. So that was not shown well at all. Ooh, really bummed. Glad I didn't pay a lot for those. And then the Sherbrooke Bride, also another large print library copy. Whew. All right, moving on, moving on. We won't dwell. Um, I This is really funny too because I ordered The Rebellious Bride by Julie Garwood and I also just found this at the thrift stop thrift store this week but this is a really nice copy of it so that's cool I'm trying to get the Julie Garwood copies the like um, older ones I'm trying to find the shiny ones but any books I collect that don't work I'll probably just reprint them on the eBay so that's fine and then I want to try Lisa Claypez's um, uh, contemporary series so I have brown eyed girl and blue eyed devil again another library copy and then I found Judith McNaught's Something Wonderful. So I got those two. Oh, really disappointed in a couple of those that they didn't tell me they were library copies. So then this was actually an order that I did from Better World Books. And this makes me happier. I'm recollecting the Dark Hunter series. So I got book three and four. 
So these aren't library copies. I'll be able to take those stickers off. So got what I asked for with that. Let's turn this around. And then the one that I ordered from Amazon, I have right here. I'm very excited that I bought this for myself. Um, this is one of my favorite books that I read in the month of September. And so I try to pick up um, the indie books, the self-published paperbacks that are my favorite. And so I ordered a copy of Untouchable by Sam Moriano. This is one of my favorite books that I read this month. And it's beautiful, beautiful copy. Um, I really, really love this dark romance. It's so beautiful. So very happy that I got myself this. Okay, enough of that. Let's get into my reveal book box. I haven't looked at this. All I did is cut the flap. This is what it will look like when you open it. There'll be this cute little sticker. Ooh, some stuff's already falling out. We have a couple, ooh, it smells really good. We got a couple bookmarks. I'll set this down here. Um, this one set is from Andrea Johnson. And it says heart, sass, and smart ass. So that's cute. Kind of hard to see. And then I have Reckless Memories, the Wretched series by Katherine Cowles. Never heard of her before. So there's that. So then I'm going to pop. I'm kind of like not looking. There's a little candle. Yes, this was what I was smelling. This smells like cinnamon, so hardcore. This is from Candle Crest. They do soy candles. And there's a coupon on the back. If you wanna pause and get that coupon, you definitely can. 20% off your order over $30. It's awesome. Just kind of like grabbing without like looking. Oh, cute. Let's see what this is in this little bag here. There's another bookmark. This is for Withstanding the Enemy by T.L.M. Hart. And it came with, oh, it's a bottle opener. It's a key bottle opener. Cute. It's like handwritten on here. This is T.M. Hart. That is cute. I don't have many bottles, but I would definitely use that as like in book photos or something. I'm always looking for details like that. Let's see. Oh, there's a book of matches. This says romance reveal book box. That's cool. Nobody sends books of matches. Like you use this to light the candle, right? It's cute. There is a little sucker. A postcard. This one says cross Paris off the list. Love Grace. Grace from this Love Seekers series by Maria Vickers. It's a cute postcard there's a pen this is for regrets by Nicole Dyke not the coolest design pen I actually use my pen that I got in the last one from Lissa Cole I've used that every week since I've got it so that's kind of cool um there's some little happy stickers <laughs> and then here's a letter oh reveal book box autumn bingo Take a photo of you reading in each scenario. Post on Facebook or Instagram. Use RRBB Autumn Bingo for a chance to win a free box. That's cool. So they sent us this bingo card. That's kind of fun. I like that idea. I'm going to be doing a lot of reading for some readathons in this month, so that could be cool. All right, so let's get to grabbing here. I think I got all the little things. All right, so this one is Showtime, a Juniper Ridge romantic comedy by Tana Fenske. All right, and this one says, this is the first book in the series. It's a wacky concept. Take an abandoned cult compound and cast the cops, teachers, farmers, and nurses needed for a self-contained community. Throw in some cameras and presto, instant TV. There's only one family with the chops to make it work, so the Judsons pack up their LA lives for a fresh start in rural Oregon. Big Brother Dean has brokered billions in Hollywood deals. Surely he can produce a tiny town from scratch. He just needs a finance guru to help him prep for showtime while Dean does his best to forget having his heart smashed to withered bits. 
Vanessa Vincent ticks all the boxes with the bonus of zero interest in the mating game aspects of Juniper Ridge. Just give her some spreadsheets and give her and leave her in peace to turn her own wretched romances into little more than bad flashbacks. But Dean and Vanessa don't count on their epic chemistry or a stranger who'll stop at nothing to keep Juniper Ridge from debut day. Can they build the dream without risking their hearts or will it fade to black before the first before the first act ends? So this is actually kind of cute. I've really been into romantic comedies lately, so I'm definitely more willing to give this a try than normal. Here's the signed page. So I'm definitely more into that than normal. That's kind of fun. All right. Ooh, this one's thick. Ooh, this one excites me. All right, this one's called Hold Me Today by Maria Luis. This one says, rock bottom has never felt so good. At least that's what I tell myself when I bargain with the, with the enemy and score a renovation from a hair salon. The enemy, Nick Stamos, my best friend's older brother. Ooh, I love best friend's brother tropes. He's got a body and face of the Greek gods the Greek gods would envy, but his personality needs a major overhaul. He's surly, a rule follower. Did I mention he's seen me naked? No, you did not. Tell me more. I may have crushed on him for years, but the only place I want Nick swinging his hammer nowadays is at my salon, except he needs something in return, a fake girlfriend, and I'm just reckless enough to say yes. Oh, I'm excited. There's a couple of things that made me excited. One, I like the renovation aspect. I am just finishing up Tessa Bailey's Hot and Hammered series, and I like the construction and like um, renovation aspects of it, so that would be really fun to get to read about and then I also love fake dating I also love that this is a bigger book um, a lot of them that I got last time were pretty small ones so this sounds really fun I love best friend sibling romances which obviously these are gonna be tropes that I like because I asked for them but that's still that's fun Ooh! oh my gosh I've heard of this series that's awesome. Okay, this is called Dirty Player by Gwen McNamee. McNamee. So this is a book in the Cocky Hero Club. So the Cocky Hero Club, there's this like huge series on like Audible Escape that I'd seen and I didn't, I hadn't ended up listening to any of them yet. And then I kind of despaired of doing so. This one's kind of personalized by the author too, that's fun. Um, really nice cover work. But they're all like dirty something. So this one says dirty player. Only one word can describe Sebastian Bash Fury. Dirty. He's dirty hot, a dirty talker, and a dirty player. On the ice. Ooh, yay, sports. He truly earns his nickname. He bashes opponents without regard for the rules or safety, which is precisely why I can't have him on my team. As the first female head coach in the NHL, a man like Bash Fury is a liability who could ruin my career. Even worse, he'll destroy my willpower. I should despise that cocky bastard, but something about his swagger and quick smile make him irresistibly charming. Despite my best efforts, things are heating up and the ice around my heart is starting to melt, all because of this dirty player. Cool. I like hockey romances. I like coach and player romances. I like that the female is the coach. So that's awesome. That's cool. I'm excited about that one. And the last one in here is Seducing Cinderella, a fighting for love novel by Gina L. Maxwell. He'll teach her the art of seduction for a price. Cool. All right. This one says... Only months before reclaiming his championship title, mixed martial artist Reed Andrews suffers a serious injury. Fortunately, his trainer knows the perfect physical therapist to get Reed healed and back into fighting shape. The little sister of Reed's best friend. Yay! Another sibling romance. But Lucy is no longer or sibling's friend, sorry. Whoa. But Lucy is no longer a little girl, and she's more than capable of handling a bad boy with a bad attitude. Lucy Miller needs some professional help of her own. Bookish nerds don't usually sorry I just had um, a phone call interrupt me sorry about that um, but Lucy is no longer a little girl and she's more than capable of handling a bad boy with a bad attitude 
Lucy Miller needs some professional help of her own. Bookish girls don't usually land the hot guys, and she's gone unnoticed by a certain doctor for way too long. So when her childhood crush offers her lessons in seduction in exchange for getting him ready for the biggest night of his career, Lucy jumps at the chance. But things change when Reed finds himself in the fight of his life, and it has nothing to do with the championship. Now he needs to switch up his game plan and win Lucy's heart before she gives it to someone else. Cue it. I love this. So I'm really happy with the choices in this one. They really, I feel like were more to like choices I wanted because I said I like sports romances. I like siblings, best friend romances, and I was up for romantic comedies. So I'm really excited to give these ones a try. I'm glad I got one that was a bit thicker this time. I'm still never like super impressed with the goodies that come with. Um, I did like the bottle opener this time. That was cool. Um, the prices of these, what is nice is I do like the different range of amount of books that you can choose. That's what I really liked about it. I like getting the four of them. I like getting a good choice of books to pick from, but I like that it's affordable. Like the one where you get four, I think it is $49.95 to get four books. Um, it, no, it might be $39.95 because I know it ends up being that they're about 10 each, which is a great deal for self-published paperbacks because those usually range between 12 and $20 depending. Like example this one that i ordered i paid 16.99 for this um because it's a thicker self you know self pub which the authors just have to sell it for that to make their money back so i understand that but anyway i think that it's a great deal i though have the freedom to spend that amount of books so i understand if people don't but then again you can do the option where you just get one book there is also options where you don't get like extra goodies. They also do ship internationally. I believe there's an option for that. Don't hold me to it. I'll have to check. But again, this wasn't sponsored. I just wanted to order from them again. And I probably will do it again too. I feel like they have more and more um, people showing interest in them. And so I feel they do a better and better job each time because the more authors that are willing to be in their box, the more range that they have. Um, which is really exciting to me. So anyway, that was just a small little haul. Sorry, the first half of it was kind of sad. Um, I mean, I know that I got these like off of eBay, but it, it didn't say that they were library books. So I'm just really mad because I'm not going to add these to my collection. So it's fine. I'll just like redonate them and try again. But I'm just really disappointed because I was really excited to get home and have those. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Definitely check out Reveal book box the romance book box if you're interested so thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye